y'all welcome back to my channel get ready with me today as i dive kind of deep into the reasons um why and how i started youtube and my future plans for it and also don't mind this like i'm not sure if it's obvious i have this like little bump here on my lip i kind of peeled my lip my skin too hard and tucked on it so it's a little bit irritated right now but yeah okay so first i'm gonna start off with skincare prep I wanted to use my Gudao skincare line products, but I want to quickly finish my Sunjong products first. So I'm just going to be using the toner pad and the emulsion today. I first started YouTube, um, I think on in June 2020, um, around like when Circuit Breaker started in Singapore. So I'm pretty sure you guys would have definitely heard like the stories of where people say Circuit Breaker helped inspire or motivated them and pushed them to do the things that they wanted to do but you know maybe they put it off or something. Yeah so my story was basically that Circuit, Br Circuit Breaker did help to um, push me to launch my YouTube channel. At the time I was still a student and I was still studying but um, because it was doing circuit breaker right so we um as students we could study from home we had e-learning so i had a lot of extra time on hand uh, all that time helped me come to the decision of wanting to really do it and also um sorry to interrupt this i'm gonna interrupt the story right there look at this brow i shaved off this brow too much it is way shorter than it should be <laughs> I always had this idea of wanting to start a YouTube channel because mainly I wanted it to be a singing channel because I, I really loved singing. I, I still do love singing but at the time I was a bit skeptical on like uploading stuff on the internet because you, <laughs> the internet can be quite scary. You can get cancelled for no reason or you can get bullied for no reason and stuff like that. I was worried about that happening to me. I didn't want to become like a hated person on the internet, you know, because um, you can get cancelled. Like, let's say people, people, people might say that I'm not able to sing nicely. Like, I understand there's a difference between constructive feedback and just hate comments. That did, yeah, so I was worried that I would get m hate comments. I was more worried about the negative feedback that may that I may experience rather than the positive ones. But what really made, what really pushed me through this, like just to go for it, was because at that time, NCT One Two Seven just had a comeback at that time, where they launched their second album and it had a lot of bomb ass songs. And like really, no kidding, I was legit obsessed with all the songs. I would play them when I was studying, um, doing my homework, even during lecture times. <laughs> And since I always had the idea of uploading covers on YouTube, I decided why not my first song be NCT, one of uh, NCT 127 songs in their second album. Which is why if you scroll down to the very bottom, my first cover um, that I officially released on this channel is Boom by NCT 127. And uh, from there, I think the next, few the next few covers were like, the songs, you know, a Sit Down, Elevator. Well, yeah, it was, it was like songs from this um, album. But not gonna lie, the first few days when I posted it, it was pretty nerve-wracking. Like, basically, I kept checking, I kept, I kept going back to see if I had any views or any comments using the Beauty of Jason sunscreen. Which is totally understandable, right? Because it was my first video, so of course I would be all nervous about how they do i didn't really care about it flopping it was more of I, I i was worried that i would receive bad bad comments or hate comments i don't know why i was really scared of that i think because i think it's just because in our culture especially in our generation in this era now we can get cancelled so easily most of the time for like doing small things so i was worried that it might happen to me but luckily, yeah, that didn't stop me from uploading. <laughs> I, I just kept on. It was like a whole new experience for me, truly. From recording the covers to uh, editing to filming and then, you know, all that. It, it really was a whole new experience. And I had to learn everything by myself. Prior to this, I had no background in like video editing. Um, yeah. 
so I really had to learn by myself. It was interesting. It was just, it was super enlightening. Like the whole process was like enlightening because I'm I'm gaining more knowledge. I don't know. The whole time I felt very happy because I'm doing something that I like. I'm learning something that I like, and it just made me feel very happy doing it. So through this, I uh, this actually became my newfound hobby. And it made me very happy every time I finished like a project. Though I know that my old videos are somewhat like cringe. Okay, I mean when I watch them now, they are very cringe to me. Because I look so damn awkward. Like I'm just staring at a mirror, staring, staring at the camera like... <laughs> you know, like it's so awkward. I, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm not awkward now if I had to stand at the camera like that. But I think I would have been able to hide my awkward better you could clearly tell that i was dying on the inside yeah i mean because i was still quite new at that point of time so but it's just so funny now whenever i watch back and i just look mm -hmm. but what is that what oh my god like why did i even upload it it looks so i look so yeah but it, i mean it's quite funny lah. so when i rewatch it i'm just like okay I was brave enough to upload that kind of shit on the internet, but yeah. So, but honestly, I would say that I've come quite a long way. Um, within like this, from 2020 to now, I would say I've been, I've, done, I've been doing YouTube for around two years now. I've established some house rules and um, that I need to follow f for myself. Like, nobody's pushing this for me to follow. It's just my own standards and guidelines. Some of my values have changed. And my mindset has grown compared to two years ago when I just started doing YouTube. So in the past, I would try to finish a cover as fast as possible, to upload it to YouTube as fast as possible. Even if I looked like I was super tired or looked dead or maybe there were some imperfections in the recording, um, be it the cover recording or like the filming, I would... I would just close both eyes and just upload it to YouTube because my main concern was I just wanted to have a steady uploading rate. Yeah. Over the course of times, I did not really feel satisfied about um, of my own projects because I feel like they, I could do better, you know. Only like when you have done your best, you would feel really satisfied, right? Now, how I would do it is as long as I am unhappy with something, be it the recording, the recover recording, or the filming, or the editing, I would redo it or like fix that issue and then upload it. I won't just hastily put it on, on, on YouTube and just, just be like done, but then afterwards feel a bit like, could have been better, but oh well, you know? Like I want to feel accomplished every time I upload a finished project. I want that sense of satisfaction. That's what kind of makes me feel like this is all worth it because I love that feeling I get whenever I have a finished com uh, project and I just upload it to YouTube and I'm like, I did my best, I have no regrets. For today, I'll be using the Vanilla Co. Coveracious Power Fit Foundation. And of course, I'll be using the Chom Chom Castella Puff, also Vanilla Co.'s one. This foundation is like really good to use, I feel, in like um, for days where I need it to, where I need my foundation to last. If not for my daily, like mm, for example, if I go to work, I would use the Cleo Vegan Wear Primer and the um, foundation because that one is a little bit moisturizing so it smudges quite easily. So today I need a foundation to um, last me a bit longer, especially with Singapore's weather. So to play it safe for days where I know that I will be outside, I don't want to take a risk with um, the weather and I'll just choose to wear a foundation that I know will last too. I think it's just a safe choice. Um, back to the topic. <laughs> so actually these um, throughout the two years I've been like experimenting and trying out new things and trying to like venture out into different genres. For example, I have tried a little bit of unboxing videos and I have tried vlogging and I also have tried doing makeup videos. It's just trying to find out what I like to do. And from that, I found out that, okay, I don't really, I'm not really interested in doing unboxing videos. I'm not like super hyped about them. 
so I that's why um, I have stopped doing unboxing videos I'm not sure I'm not certain if I will ever go back to doing unboxing videos but even if I do probably you not see me do it very often unlike makeup videos or like get ready uh, get ready with me I love doing get ready with me so compared to unboxing I don't think unboxing is on the list of things that I'm like super hyped about as for vlogging, I do find some excitement when I do vlogs. They take me quite a long time to edit. Yeah, especially now that I'm working, I might not have a lot of time to do the edits and all that. But I will still do some vlogs here and there because I'm still interested in doing vlogs. One thing I really want to stick to for this channel is to not force myself to do certain types of videos for like just because it's trend or like to gain clout or whatever because i really want to get as real as i can on my channel so if it doesn't make me feel happy or if i'm very bored or uninterested in doing it i'm not gonna push myself to continue doing it maybe i would do it like a few times just to really experiment and find out how i'm how i'm feeling about it just like the unboxing videos i did like i think i think two or three and then i stopped because i know that's not what I enjoy. Because the difference is that when I edit my makeup videos, my cover videos, um, or my um, vlog videos, I feel happy when I'm editing it. I enjoy the time re-watching back the clips and all that. You know, I enjoy taking down notes and stuff like that. But for unboxing videos, I don't feel the same kind of excitement. So I know clearly that it's not working out for me. And I don't want to push it. Just because I want views? Oh, nah. I, I want to be real. I want to be authentic as much as I can be on this channel. And I, I don't know, maybe maybe some people watching this might, might think, um, my channel is, it's not like my channel is like a really big channel. I have only 47 sub subscribers, which I'm very thankful for, but still it's not like a big channel. So why am I being so fussy and, and choosy and picky over the, the, the type of content that I, that I uh, want to do, right? Okay, wait, first I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use Espoise. Brow Balance Pencil in Classic Brown. I finally bought another color. Um, I think the one I previously had was cool grey and it was too grey for me. Too grey. I'm like more warm tone rather than cool so it was just not working out. Okay, hold on. I can't talk when I'm doing brows, man. We all know the rule. I would like to think that I have improved um, drawing my brows with the pencil. It's, it's of course still not perfect but I think it's a lot better than like as compared to when I started off. Now what do I do about this brow? <laughs> this brow is so short! I literally chopped off the end. Hopefully it does not affect the way I draw my brows. Oh my god. It looks so bota. Which means bald. So as you can see, I'm trying to shape it to go for the Korean straight brow look. You know what this means? I cannot leave the house unless I do my brows no matter what, like no matter how late I am. Like, I'm not going to go out with those chopped ass brows. <sighs> this is the best that I can do. As you, well, as you can see, I'm still not a brow professional. Get it? Brow professional. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I, I still can't do my brows that well. At least it's a lot better than how it used to be like last time. I'm gonna do concealer now. I'm gonna use the Clio uh, Vegan Wear Cover Concealer. So I found a method that kind of helps with my uh, eye bags. As you know, I've always been complaining how um, my eye bags always shows up even after I do my concealer, right? So this helps me to hide the eye bags for a little longer. I, I think I, I learned it from Douyin actually, which is like Chinese version of TikTok. You look down, so you can see your eye bags, right? And then you just you, you put your concealer and you just coat it over the lines of your bags. I'm just gonna let it mm, sit there and marinate for a while. So for eyeshadow, the palette that I'll be using today is the Romand um, Line Friends Better Than Eyes Mini LF uh, in the shade 01 Dry Tulip. Sorry, Dry Mango Tulip. Um, normally, I don't like to use the shades pink because they kind of make my eyes look swollen but this, this one's quite nice. I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush that I have and I'm gonna use the lightest color, the lightest pink and use that as my base shadow and um, this palette is actually pretty pigmented I 
don't have to like keep dipping my brushes back in there so you can see a little bit of the pink hue it's it's nice it's not too overbearing it's not too strong like i said sometimes pink makes my eyelids look swollen and um that's not the look that i'm going for so this pink does it very gently that's why i like it okay now i'm gonna use a slightly smaller fluffy brush and i'm gonna use the darker pink here anyway has anyone watched blackpink's newest video i think at this time where i um where this video is uploaded it should have been like up for at least one or two months now it is so lit i love the chorus ba -da -bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -da shut down okay, anyway i'm gonna put this here so i'm gonna focus it more um on my half area like here okay to be honest i don't remember where i last left off before i started talking about the eyeshadow um ah right yeah so i want to be as real as i can even if my account is not like a big channel because authenticity to me is really important one of my rules that i will stick to for as long as i'm doing youtube so then we come to the question am i quitting youtube or will i quit youtube you know some of my friends they ask me hey you know have you been doing youtube for like two years ish now are you, are you getting bored are you still as passionate as you was as you were as the first time when you started youtube you know are you still finding that same excitement when you upload your videos or when when um, you edit them and record them and stuff and uh some of them actually asked me do I plan to go anywhere with this, with like doing YouTube? I mean, sometimes I do ask myself, like I'm very appreciative of my small community that I have. But like, yeah, am I going anywhere with this number? So, I mean, these are questions that my friends ask me and like that I ask myself too. Um, quite frequently to keep myself grounded, let myself know where I stand. Because why? I want to make sure that I still have interest in the things that I do. I don't want to feel like it's it's an obligation, you know, for me to um, record videos and, and, and keep posting them on YouTube. I don't want to have that feeling. Okay, next I'm going to use this brush. This is from Innisfree. I'll put all the um, details as usual in the description box so you can, and the timestamp, so you can check them out if you're interested. And I'm going to use the brown color for the liner you, you know when you mix the brown and pink together it creates a very beautiful look but luckily and fortunately i still enjoy what i'm doing so as of now i don't i do not have any plans to quit youtube yes i um i have become busier ho oh. My god, I am a lot busier because I, I have started working. So I have entered the adult um, working life. Very tiring. Oh my god, like very tiring. Not even joking. I mean, I enjoy my work. I love the people there. But very tiring. So yeah, I understand that I'm, I myself, ever since I started working, I will be a lot busier. So I will... I can predict that I won't have a lot of time to record videos, record covers, do YouTube basically. But I believe that anything is possible as long as you are ambitious. Okay, I'm gonna use this Ink Thin Brush Liner from Peripera. It's black, not the brown one. Usually I use the Tatum Brown. The only time you see me not talking is when I'm doing my brows and when I'm doing my liner because stress, man. <laughs> Today I'm going more for the droopy liner look, not the snatched wing look. Anyway, I can only pray the left eye will look more or less symmetrical to the right one. Yeah, I think it's quite symmetrical, holy Jesus. I tell you, the two things that can really affect my mood for the day is my eyebrow and my eyeliner. If they're not done well and I do not have the time to redo them, 
they can really affect my mood, I tell you. Like, I wouldn't be angry, but more of you will see me very, like, I will try to avoid eye contact because I don't have on fleek makeup today. So I, would, I don't want you to stare, at, I don't want you to look at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but luckily that's not the case today. I'm just gonna let the liner dry and finally I'll be blending out the concealer. Uh, let me blend this out here real quick first. If you have a smaller concealer brush, I guess that could that would be better, but usually I just use this. Instead of blending it like that and blending the whole thing, imagine this line, you split it into the into half. The lower half, I blend it down to my eye back line. And then the upper half, I just blend it do it like that, just to cover my um, dark circles. So with the concealer, place directly onto your eye bag line and you just lightly blend it out. It's, I mean, I guess you can still see, but it's not as bad as like if you were co to compare to my other makeup videos. Literally, the, even though I put concealer, you can still see it in this angle. Now I, my face is like upright, it's straight. Um, if I bend down, of course you can see, but like straight. You can't really see it. Normally, if you compare it to my other um, makeup videos, where my face is still upright and I just applied my concealer, you can still see the bags. So this, this method works. Okay, so I'm gonna do blush. I have a new baby to show today. It is the Rare Beauty blush. Yeah, I, I, I caved in. I, I caved. And this is in the shade Hope. I love it. It's very natural flush. Oh, but this baby is pigmented as hell. So I'm just gonna apply only here. I have this puff, it's from um, Philly Milly, and I like to use this. I have two, so this one is the newer one. I like to um, use this and blend out my Rare Beauty blush. But anyway, back to what I was um, saying. Even though I'll be getting busier with my job. But I love what I'm doing. So I, I love uploading and sharing content onto the internet. And yeah, nobody's going to stop me from doing it. Well, I mean, except for me. So so I, I would like to now talk about like my future plans that I have for this channel. Honestly, I can still see myself doing what I'm doing right now. Um in a few years, but I can f probably predict or foresee that I'll be slanting more towards the makeup side. I have been uploading more pro uh, product reviews and uh, get ready with me's. And I really enjoy um, the makeup content that I put out on, the, on my channel. So I hope that you guys can understand if you see that I'm coming out with more makeup content, more product reviews, uh, makeup product or skincare product reviews. Um, yeah, I hope you guys can will understand. But do not be confused. With that being said, I will not stop uploading my cover videos. I still love singing. I still, I still, um, uh, will be uploading cover videos. So I'm just saying that I might slant more towards the makeup content in the future. So maybe you might see more Get Ready With Me's in the future. It's just I would like to point out that I may be a tad bit more aggressive in uploading my makeup content on this channel. So those who like makeup say hey! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this basic blending mood cheek. Uh, it's shade number 3, Peach Blending. I just love the colors and it also comes along with a brush. So beautiful, it looks so elegant. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it with, um, I'm gonna use this first color. Anyway, in the past, I, I, um, I was really interested in makeup, but I did not want to upload any makeup uh, content because I felt like it would not suit the theme of my channel, which was at that time was just uploading um, cover videos. But whatever I, i'm over it now i'll just do whatever that makes me happy and another type of content that i s foresee myself doing in the next um, in the future would be like i would be maybe releasing original work i have uploaded once on this channel called um, alone i might continue doing the same thing where in a sense where i'll find um 
audios from YouTube audio library that can match with the songs that I write. Because, yeah, I, I also, another passion, another hobby of mine is I love to write songs. I love to do that during my free time. Or I might do my own mix on GarageBand. But, but I'm a noob. I don't know how to play any instruments. So I actually just use the preset. And also I have like plans to redo my old covers like Punch, Boom, Elevator. Like my first few cover videos basically. Because that was when I was starting YouTube so I just really wanted to push videos out. So I, did, I cared more about quantity than quality. But now I care more about quality than quantity. So I cringe so hard every time I see those old videos so um, I'm still not satisfied after two years so I'm, I have plans to redo them I want to be proud of everything that I put on my channel you know it makes me feel good okay I'm gonna curl my lashes with the Shu Uimura Lash Curler I'll be using Peri Peras um, Ink Fixer Mascara I have the Etude House one but I kind of I like this one more because this one is like grayish black in color the Etude House one was, it was okay, it could hold up my curls, but the problem was that it had white fibers. And I, don't, I didn't like the white fibers. It looks like I had shit in my lashes. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer with this onto my eyelid. This goes hard, so I'm not gonna press too much. It really helps to make the whole look more complete. It's amazing! Yeah. I'm gonna use the Wake Make in 01 Soft Warm and this brush from Innisfree and I'm gonna do my contour. These days I've been like obsessed with the straight nose look. So I like to just go down like that. Oop. I'll use this Colorgram All-in-One Ego Style Maker and it's for the warm tone. I know it looks very scary right now but we'll, we'll blend it out, don't worry. Gonna use this brush from the Etude House uh, X Hyojin Contour Edition and just lightly fan it out. Maybe we should use the pencil, huh? Okay, I'll try. The reason why I don't use it is because it's so easy for me to like mess up with the pencil. I look like I have dark circles and I'm seriously on a lack of sleep. We'll try, we'll try. I'm gonna start off in the middle first. Okay. I'm gonna use an angled brush and I'm just gonna blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, I'm gonna mix the pink and the dark pink and the brown together using this really skinny brush. I I bought this from Shopee. I'm gonna just put it here in my triangle zone. Okay, now we're gonna do um highlighter. So, because my entire look is pink based, I'm gonna use the Glint Milky Moon Highlighter because this is a beautiful shade of pink. I'm gonna use this brush. This is the Morphe M139 brush. It's my first Morphe brush. I got it because my sister was in Amsterdam two months ago and she bought it for me. Apply it very lightly with a light hand because this goes hard. Aside from the fallouts, actually, I quite like this um, highlighter. I have been using this, my Romand highlighter, and I've just been um, putting it in the corners of my eyes. The shine is so beautiful. Now I understand when people say putting shimmers in the corner of your eyes really helps to brighten the eye look and change the look completely because, girl, I've been doing this every day, every time. Finally, we're moving on to the last, last step. I'm going to use this Romance Dew Full Water Tint in the shade 09 Cotton Melba. Very sheer looking gloss. It has a little hint of pink in it, which I think suits this look. So yeah, ta-da! I'm going to go style my hair real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I style my hair, put my hair up in a ponytail and like I put these two things. Here. I think it turned out quite nice. Yeah. I think that's all for today's um, Get Ready With Me. I hope that it was like quite interesting to let you guys know my backstory of how I started my YouTube channel and so on and stuff. For the old subscribers who has been sticking with me from the start, I really want to thank you guys. 
I appreciate you guys. For the new subscribers who just joined my channel, um, thank you for joining me in my journey. And I promise that I'll try my best to keep growing my mind, my values, and of course my content. <laughs> So yeah, really thank you all, both my new and old subscribers. Without you guys, I think my YouTube journey would be a lot less fun. So really thank you guys. And as usual, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.